field can hurt. Mistakes in the end zone can cripple. Matt's going to throw. Looks to the end zone. Now he scrambles. Has some running room. Now he fires to the end zone. Touchdown Seahawks! Daryl Jackson! Now I see a flag. Did a flag come out back there? Oh, no. flag did come out. Daryl Jackson tried to make a little room for himself and pushed off. Ooh, that was a ticky-tacky call. Steelers just dodged the bullet there. To salvage something, the Seahawks settled for a field goal. The kick by Josh Brown is up, and the kick is good! Three, not a problem. The Steelers were unconcerned, but their quarterback looked unsettled. For the better part of the first half, Pittsburgh's offense misfired. He's got to get a first down. Cinder is getting antsy. Hey, Cinder, kid. The Steelers needed a spark. Bill Cowher knew how to provide it. I'm have to get something going, maybe thinking about a. Uh, Watch the hole! What? A gadget, maybe. A reverse. They go to the end around. Heinz Ward has room. He's at the 35. First down to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 45 yard line into the Seattle bench. It was an astute play call, and the knowledge it provided would prove invaluable later. Let's go! Good job! But the Steelers still had to settle their young quarterback's nerves. Play action fake. Ben is back. He's going to air it out. Down the right sideline. The pass will be intercepted. Michael Bulware leaping high. They stop the Steelers' drive with 10 10 to play. Everybody settle down. We're, out. We're yeah. trying to do too much right now. Yeah. Listen, uh, you start feeling cover two, you'll be smart. Take the check downs. Okay, it's first and 10. Just take what they give us. Just a matter of time before we get rolling. Right. It's just a matter of time. The playmaker right now for the Steelers has got to be Hines Ward. You got to figure out a way to take him out. The Seahawks couldn't seem to stop Hines Ward. Ward even managed to get free in the end zone. Coming that close to a touchdown could have undone the psyche of his quarterback. Bill Cowher made sure it didn't. You all right? Yeah. You're okay. You would have had to drive. You know, you break. The protection broke down on that. I know. Trust in what you see. If it's cover two, work the high low because they're all sinking yeah. back to the deep ball. Under four minutes remained before halftime. Trailing 3 0, Pittsburgh faced a third and 28 and a decision. Play for a couple of yards and a field goal or let it loose. Here's the snap to Ben in the empty set. He's back. He's going to scramble forward. He's going to pump. He's going to run to his left and settle. Look for an open man. He's going to fire it down the field. The pass will be caught at the three-yard line. First down, Pittsburgh. Hines Ward coming back on that underthrown ball. You just witnessed the maturity of Ben Roethlisberger. He scrambles to his left. Wouldn't have made the first down, but he would have got himself in the field goal position. Settled right before he hits the line of scrimmage. Goes all the way back to the right numbers. And Hines comes back to the ball better than any receiver in the National Football League. How about a 37-yard pass on third and 28? Just what the doctor ordered. While third and 28 took audacity, Third and goal simply took power. Let's go! Third and goal at the one. A bootleg left. And Ben dies for the goal line, and he's going to be caught short of the no! It's a touchdown, Pittsburgh! Ben hit the shot. Bootlegging on the keeper left. He followed the bus and Dan Kreider. In for the score. It was bold, but the Seahawks doubted it was a touchdown. Seattle challenged the call. That ball never crossed the goal line. Oh, hell no! It's not even close. I'm telling you, it's not even close. Well, they'll turn it over. I know, but hell, hell. Well, Mike Holmgren's telling the sideline it wasn't even close. When he hit the ground, the ball was short of the end zone, and then he put the ball over the end zone. That ball looked like he hit the right line. I don't think it did. You give it to me, I'll take it over the top, coach. I know. If it's fourth down, I'm going for it, though. It's less than the yard. Let me go over the top, folks. As the officials watched the replay, even Steeler teammates debated the call. 
but the shoulder that went down had the ball. But the shoulder was down across, but the ball wasn't. I think the little tip of the ball touched it. I don't think so. I don't think so. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. I told you, man. Nearly two minutes remained before halftime. Time enough for Seattle to drive. Time enough to make amends for their mistake-filled first half. Split backs again. Matthew drops back five. He looks right. Pump fakes. Throws deep to D-Jack down the right sideline. Is he in? No, he's out of bounds. If that play didn't epitomize a half of squandered chances, the next play did. Seattle will be trying a 54-yard field goal. Here's the kick. It's on its way. It's long enough. It's wide right. And the Steelers defense dodges a bullet. Oh, he missed it. The Seahawks seethe. Having outplayed Pittsburgh for 30 minutes, they had almost nothing to show for it. We're up. I'm not sure exactly how, but let's go.